homesteading and today I'm going to show you my latest thrift store find. I got this at Value Village. Value Village is a uh, thrift store chain in Canada. Sometimes they're a little expensive uh, for thrift store but sometimes you can find really good deals. I found this old flashlight and it kind of reminded me of when I was a kid. Uh, they had these type, I, I think we had this exact flashlight and you know they're made very very well and i kind of wanted to get one so i think it cost me six bucks uh for a flashlight that's not working uh, it maybe was a little bit of money but i do like vintage style flashlights tools all kinds of stuff so i bought it and uh, if you remember these flashlights they're not very strong um they're very they're weak they kind of have a yellow light so when you compare them to flashlights from today, um, they're not very good. Uh, so, but what you can do is actually convert these to an LED flashlight. So that's what I'm gonna do today is uh, we are going to convert this old school style flashlight uh, into an LED flashlight. I'm gonna go into a dark room and we're gonna do a before and after and see how much better it is. So let's go. The only room in the house that doesn't have a window is the bathroom, so we're just gonna shut the door and we're gonna see how that looks. Okay, so this is the before with the flashlight. You can see that it's not really, really that bright, but it does work. We're gonna go back and uh, change this into an LED flashlight and then we're gonna see how that works. So on Amazon, I went and I looked for uh, the brightest bulb I could and uh, it came in a rural Ensign bag. Um, I don't know much about the company or what it is. I'll try to put the link in the description. I'm not so good at that, but um, I'll try to do that. And if you take it out of the package, it's basically, it's basically an LED on the end. There's some on the sides and it's got an old school adapter uh, to go into the um, flashlight. So, with these old flashlights, first thing I'm gonna do is remove the batteries because we won't need the D batteries anymore. Now we are going to remove the front lens. And that's what it looks like in there. It's very light. Don't break the glass. It's kind of nice it actually has a glass lens. That's why I want to keep it. They're actually really good quality. So now we just unscrew this. And then the bulb will just fall out. So now that you look at it, it looks the same. We are just gonna put the bulb in and it doesn't fit. Anyways, they made this aluminum piece too big to fit into here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use a chainsaw file and just open that up a little bit. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's in. Okay, so there you go. It is in. Now we get our little glass insulator and screw that in. So now it fits in there good. It's kind of unfortunate I had to file it, but it ain't coming out. So we're gonna throw that back into the flashlight. Okay, so now we gotta try to uh, fix the D cell batteries. I don't wanna keep buying D cell batteries. I wanna be able to have 
something that is more common like AA batteries. So I went to Amazon and I bought these adapters. They weren't very much money, I got four of them. And basically they are parallel. So if you put three uh, AA batteries in an air, it's gonna have 1.5 volts from here to here. So I could put that many AA batteries, but I kinda don't want to. What I'm gonna do is put one AA battery in each, so it'll actually connect the circuit. So those 1.5s will be in series, so I should have 4.5 volts, so that should work good. So we're gonna try. So I have a bunch of AA rechargeable batteries for my radios and stuff like that. So I got a, a charger, I have rechargeable batteries, so I should be able to indefinitely charge and use the flashlights, which is definitely a thought you need to do. Okay, so we're gonna put one in each, and that will make this battery in series with the next one. Uh, we'll put this one in. So this will be three AA batteries. And let's see if this will work. If I want, if my figuring was right, this should work. I don't like the fact that it's lighter, but ah, oh, look at that. That's really nice. So there you go. I got a flashlight for six bucks. I think I spent, I don't know. I think I spent about um, eight bucks for the adapters. Um, eight bucks for the adapters and probably about two or three dollars for the uh, light bulb. You know what, some people go, oh, you can go to the dollar store, buy flashlights. Yeah, you, you can. But you know, I like these old flashlights. Um, the retro vintage style flashlights. You know, they were built really well. I like them. And uh, it's so much better now that you can actually just get LED bulbs for it because that is the downside to them. The old bulbs, they're not really that strong. So, so let's go and uh, see how much brighter it is than the other bulb. Let's try this again. Okay, so you remember how bright it was before? That is a whole lot better for sure. That is a whole lot more usable, for sure. I don't like the fact that it's lighter. You kind of like the old feel to it, but you know what? That is absolutely a very usable flashlight now. <laughs> With the old bulb, uh, you know, when you use them before, you never noticed how poor they were until LED bulbs come out. Um, now that you can replace them, it is really, really good. Okay. Okay, so there you go, I got my flashlight up and going. I'm gonna try to remember to put the LED bulb in the description so you can buy them and the adapters. Uh, whenever I see these things at a thrift store and that I tend to buy them, I am a sucker for older stuff. Pretty well everything I own is like 30s, 40s and 50s, 60s. This is probably 60s, I think. Um, but you know what, that's when they made quality stuff. And it's kind of an advantage now that you can actually adapt them to new LED bulbs and rechargeable batteries. Um, so you can kind of get the quality of the past, but uh, the advantage of uh, much more usable flashlights than they were in the past. You just never knew how uh, dull those were until LED bulbs came out. You just didn't know that they're that dull because that's all you had. Uh, but whenever they came out with LED bulbs, I mean, they are night and day. They work so much better, they use less power. It is crazy how much more light they give. So it's kind of nice that you can get these old flashlights and you can adapt them and uh, they will work like a new one and they will probably last longer than a new one. So I'm super happy with the flashlight. So now I'm gonna show you the before clip with the old bulb. And now this is the new bulb. It is like night and day. So I wanted to bring you guys along when I did a quick project on a Saturday. Um, sometimes I just do this kind of thing and I don't make videos, but sometimes people might find it interesting. Um, just some of this little stuff I do. So that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.